Hi, I'm Detective Steve Schisler with the Berwick Police Department. And I'm Brendan Real, uh, and we're both detectives here. We want to talk to you today a little bit about our community resource program, specifically um, the camera registry program that we've started here at the town of, town of Berwick. Um, and that program basically is to help us, to help the community to resolve incidents throughout town. Uh, we realize that with today's technology, there are numerous cameras, whether it's a doorbell camera or security cameras throughout town, in private residences, as well as businesses. Um, we have used some of those already. Uh, we've had three mo uh, fatal motor vehicle accidents that were caught on security cameras that were privately owned and, and helped us to resolve those cases while the investigation was uh, being completed. And we're hoping to continue that, that activity. Probably the biggest question we've uh, received is, uh, you know, do we have access to your cameras? Uh, and that's not the case at all. We, this is more or less just a contact sheet that if something happens, you know, in the neighborhood or across the street at a business, um, gives us somebody to call uh, rather than necessarily having to go door to door um, trying to see if somebody maybe caught this on video um, anything you know it could be a crime it could be um, you know a missing person you know direction of travel or a vehicle um, to something that may have happened you know in town here or you know a neighboring agency or a neighboring community and the program is completely voluntary um, we're not asking you to allow us to remotely access your cameras. If we have an incident in a particular area, we'll look at our list if we have known cameras in that area, at private residences or businesses, we'll contact those individuals and ask them to check their own cameras and call us back if they find something that might be useful. And if they, again, voluntarily allow us to look at it at that point, we'll go out, meet with them, and look at the, uh, the video that they've recovered or captured on their system. Um, what we've done is, our, if you go to our website, we've also incorporated a, a tab on the department website uh, titled Camera Initiative. If you just click on that, there's a quick fill-in-the-blank form that you can fill in right online and submit it and that information will come directly to us um, and we'll add that to our list. You can be removed from the list anytime you want. Just give us a call and let us know you no longer want to be part of the program. Uh, it's, it's really a, a very simple program. I, I think the biggest concern that has come up is people thinking that uh, it's more like a big brother thing where we're having access to everybody's cameras and can, again, access them and watch from here at the station. That's not the case at all. It, again, it's voluntary. If you capture something and you notify us that you're willing to let us look at it, we'll make those arrangements and, and get together and hopefully it'll help us resolve something. And it could be anything, like he said, from missing persons to car accidents, uh, burglaries, criminal mischief, almost anything that is going on in town. Any camera works, um, Bring, you know, it's probably, I think, the most popular camera, most people have those. Um, but no, any sort of resolution, cam you know, whatever the resolution is works. Um, you know, if it captures it and it could be helpful, that's really just what we're looking for. As far as obtaining the footage from the individual that's allowed us to see it or might have captured something that would be useful, we're going to ask them um, to allow us to see it. And once that's done, if it's going to be useful, we'll ask them if they can download it onto either a memory card, thumb drive, or whatever system they have, uh, however compatible that is, uh, so that we can bring it back here and, and use it for our investigation. A lot of the, uh, a lot of footage, on a lot of these systems now you can send online, uh, whether it's a tab or um, some sort of file through email. Uh, so it's, it could be pretty quick and painless. If they have a card or a thumb drive that they're unable to make a copy for us and they want to bring it in while they're here, we'll download off of that and give them back their thumb drive. 
but we're not asking for them to bring the camera system in or, or to give us possession of their cameras. We've had the last three fatal motor vehicle accidents in town, uh, two of them on Portland Street, one on School Street. Uh, they were captured by business security cameras, so it greatly assisted the reconstructionists in determining exactly what happened because it's right there on video. Um, and it, there's a lot involved in doing an accident reconstruction on the fatal accidents, so for an investigator to be able to look at actual video and see the, the vehicle approaching, impact, uh, and the end result where the vehicles came to rest is extremely helpful, and it was in those cases. The resident's name will not um, be put out. It remains confidential. Um, we would put in the report that somebody gave us uh, access to their camera system and we were able to retrie retrieve video or information you that was useful. But it is possible that, uh, depending on the, the trial, what the event is, that that person might be asked uh, to testify if, if needed, but we haven't seen that happen at all. It would be no different than somebody who witnessed it firsthand, you know, a passerby who stopped and some sort of crash or, you know, what have you, but, you know, those witnesses can also be called to testify. If it's a missing persons, they might have evidence of, of that person going by their house. Uh, you know, somebody fitting that description gives us a direction of travel, an area to start looking for that person. Um, vehicles, if we're looking for vehicles that are connected to a crime or an incident, they might catch it, uh, that vehicle on, on camera um, a half a mile or a mile away, and, and it could be useful to us. Uh, it's not uncommon for you know, people to flee the scene of an incident, so it, it helps us know what direction they're headed in or if they were picked up by somebody else. There's a lot of possibilities. Again, this is part of our community resource uh, program. Uh, Detective Real and myself are, are sharing duties uh, along with our investigative duties as a community resource officers. We're trying to develop programs that benefit the community, the town of Berwick, um, hopefully make this a better place to live and resolve issues and try and keep the community safe. Uh, so this is just one of those programs within that. Uh, other programs we do, we have visitations with uh, different groups like Boy Scouts and Cub Scouts, stuff like that, where we explain our job, they get a tour of the PD. Um, there are several other things. We do property checks for people out of town, business checks at, n at night to uh, try and catch any possible uh, problems before they occur. Um, but there's, it's just an ongoing effort to to work with the community. On behalf of the Berg Police Department, I just want to say thank you for your assistance.